I'm Paul. This is a viewer request tutorial on Chopin Study Opus 10, number 5. 10-5 sparkles with energy and contrasts beautifully with the melancholy follow-on study 10-6. 10-5 is an unusual work as the right hand plays exclusively on the black keys except for an F natural in bar 66. This is an excellent study for advanced piano students. The fingers need to be kept very close to the keys with a relaxed hand and flexible wrist. You must feel or sense the key before you play it. 10-5 should be played with rhythmical movements, mindful that all groups of notes lead towards the pulse of the beat. Never let your concentration flag, whether in practice or performance, and avoid any unnecessary body, arm and hand movements. They do not make for a sense of security when playing. To begin, I'll run through 10-5 at around Chopin's indicated tempo of a crotchet equals 116. is in the key of G flat major. A good place to start any new work is by practicing the scales associated with the main key of the work. In some books these scales are presented in the key of F sharp major, the enharmonic of G flat major. I suggest you practice G flat major scales, broken chords and arpeggios both legato and staccato. I'll demonstrate these exercises which should be played when possible over four octaves. Begin by practicing each hand separately, alternating between right, left, then hands together in rotation. Rotating practice in this way holds your interest better than repeating just one hand alone for a long stretch of time. Practice rhythmically. 
ten five is in two four time, two beats to the bar. Think of the beat note as a target note. Land on it confidently in each bar. Accent the target note in practice. I'll demonstrate this practice approach. I won't play every section of 10-5, but this practice approach applies to the whole work. Notice how I alternate between staccato and legato and accent the target notes rhythmically on the beat. Now practice in longer sections. I suggest you 
Keep rotating your practice between right, left and hands together. Introduce a hint of dynamic contrast, but avoid the performance approach. Work on hesitations and aim for clarity and evenness of tempo. I'll demonstrate the whole study in short practice sections.
move on to practice in longer sections and increase the tempo. I've divided 10-5 into five sections. For some piano students, the following tempo might be an ideal performance tempo. It's not rushed and allows the student to focus on clarity and evenness of touch. To find the right notes at speed, don't try to see them, but instead feel them, feel your way along from the last played note. Your inner hand stretch must feel and remember the physical intervals. Some call this muscle memory. The most important thing is the fingers don't lose contact with the keys to develop a sense of physical continuity. Pianists enjoy 10-5 as music when played a little slower than Chopin's indicated tempo of a crotchet equals 116. For example, around 105-110 might be an alternative tempo. So with that in mind, I'll run through 10-5 at a slower than indicated tempo. If you intend to perform 10-5 in public, be extremely mindful to subtle hesitations. If you notice even the slightest hesitation, stop and work on that phrase. Playing for yourself at home, these hesitations may not be noticeable, but they can be exaggerated on stage due to nerves.
To finish this tutorial, I'll play along with a metronome marked by Chopin at 116 at crotchet beat. When playing with the metronome, we occasionally stray from the beat to allow phrases to breathe. I've added the score to follow. The sandy coloured sections represent the places I intentionally strayed from the beat. I wish you happiness in your practice and hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.